Hey, good evening, folks. Uh, this is Sonny here. Uh, uh, I'm doing this special video here in reference to uh, the information I just uh, just found out from the SEC. <clears throat> and uh, it's the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. They put out a bulletin on January 30th to investors. Okay, you can go to sec.com I mean .gov and get this I'll put this in the remarks and I'll also put this um, you know in both the description and the remarks okay when I put this video out uh, it's about uh, it's about 2200 hours here or 10 p.m. Uh, central time I hope you guys are safe out there on this weekend I'm doing this quick video just for your information purposes only, okay? And uh, you guys probably already know this stuff, but uh, I just want to make sure. All right. It's called the Investor's Alert and Bulletin. It's saying you got to understand, thinking about investing in the latest hot stock. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm not going to read this whole thing. you got to understand the uh, significant risks of uh, short-term trading based on social media. Then they'll go into the details about the retail investor. Whenever they're talking about the retail investor, that's you out there. <clears throat> All right, you're the retail investor. I'm a retail investor. Everybody that trades stocks is a retail investor. Okay, just so you know out there, just in case you get thrown off, say, hey, wait a second, are they talking about a store? Are they talking about something else? No, it's us. Okay, now the institutional investor is going to be like the brokers and stuff like that. That's going to be uh, buying into stocks or short trading things or something like that. Uh, doing all the ordering mm -hmm. for different corporations and stuff. So uh, that's us, retail investors. Uh, they're just telling us here, investing in bubbles and manias that you can get hurt. Momentum investing, be prepared with margin options and short sales because they can call they, they can turn around and do a margin call on you they'll call you up at 10 o'clock at night and say hey buddy you got to put five thousand dollars in your account <clears throat> okay um a lot of things can happen if you uh if you're the wrong way um when you when you when you're playing around with certain equities that could get you in trouble okay and that's why it's very critical that you guys watch my videos step by step. What we get into, what stocks we go after, what stocks we don't go after. We just got to be very careful at what we do. Okay, and like I said, you might end up with that stock for a while. Okay, and then they, they want you to, uh, to try to use a long-term investing tips and stuff like that. I will put this whole article. Uh, well, I don't know how to copy and paste the article, but I'll put that... I'll put this website down. I'll copy and paste this inside my description, or you know, if you if you get that arrow down thing right below the uh, right below the video, you just click that arrow down thing, and it's going to be in there. And all you have to do is click click that. Okay, I'm going to put that in there. Okay, because I don't know if I could put that in the remarks section, but I'll try. Okay. Now let's move over to uh, Merrill Edge. What's going on there on this margin stuff? All right. So we covered the significant risk of short-term uh, trading based on social media. Okay. So you got that article. Now this is all from the Merrill Edge platform here. Now based off of uh, market volatility uh, impacting certain securities, We'll update you if there's any changes or impacted securities. Here is what you need to know. The following securities are non-marginable. That means these three stocks here, you cannot margin them. I mean, I was trying to figure out, this is an OTC stock. I never thought you could do an OTC stock marginal. But anyhow, yeah, those three, you can't margin them whatsoever. Now, margin requirements has been moved to 100% for the following securities, GameStop, GME, okay, AMC, and BlackBerry. Only those three stocks. Whereas Robinhood and, and other companies right now, 
you know, that they have different requirements. So they're not even allowing you to margin. Okay. So um, as of close of business on February 1st, which is tomorrow, or probably when you are going to watch this video, it's probably going to be today when you watch my video, because it's already 2200 hours or 10 p.m. at night. Uh, the margin requirements will be 100% for the following security. So they might as well go ahead and just say all this stuff is 100%. Okay, so it's going to be AXDX, uh, Bed Bath and Beyond, Nokia, Revlon, and iRobot. Wow. And then National Beverage, Fizz. Wow. I didn't know those two was was even a red... I didn't even understand that they were going to go after those stocks, too. Okay, so apparently that's the only stocks that's affected. Now, GM, okay, I know what Robinhood and that stuff, that, GM stock, they kind of put off limits or, or you know, they, they put limited shares that you can purchase or whatever. Okay, they, they also did um, Rocket as well on their list. I mean, you guys got to look at those lists. See, Merrill Edge is allowing you to trade certain stocks right now that you can't trade with Robinhood or some of these other brokers. Okay, so that's one thing good about Merrill Edge. Okay, that they, you know they're giving you a little bit of leeway here. You know, I was looking on that one Robinhood list and it said I can only trade one share of GM over there or something. I, I didn't understand that stock. I don't get it, but this is Merrill Edge right here, and this is what they're saying, okay? Only these stocks are affected. These ones are non-marginable, and these are, uh, margin requirements is 100% for these. Now, there might be additional margin requirements for certain other stocks, but not these. I mean, these are in that category of 100%. So, I just wanted to put this stuff out to you guys. And uh, real quick, like, wanted to keep it quick. And uh, please share our videos with other people. Tell your friends about this stuff, okay? You know, because, you know, there are certain brokerage that, that, that steps in and says, wait a second here. You know, you might have to have 100% marginal here, but we'll let you trade, okay? So, it's a difference between you'll be able to trade or you can't trade. Your restricted trade. So, okay. So, uh, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. Okay. And subscribe. Don't forget it. All right. Now, you guys take care of yourselves. And, and hopefully tomorrow, we'll do some trading. We'll get some good trades in. Hopefully, the market bounces back a little bit. You know. But we'll discuss that tomorrow. This is a quick video. Everybody, uh, take care. Have a good night and be safe out there. This is Sunny. I'm out.